Hello, my name is Maria Toka. Today is another episode of Design With Me. I know it's been a while since I've done the last one. I'm going to design a concert. For, I'm going to design a concert poster for an amazing English songwriter, musician, Sam Fender. I've been listening to his albums a lot lately and uh, I've been really inspired. I'm not sure yet if it's going to be a poster for one specific concert. I will just take one of his previous poses and kind of redesign them, if that makes sense, just to have some information to fill in. At this time it's going to be more like raw process because I haven't prepared anything, anything but listening to his music. To be honest with you, the previous three parts, I kind of already had an idea what I'm going to design because I've collected some references. Maybe the process seemed a bit too smooth but this time I haven't prepared any of this we're gonna see so let's get started with design with me okay so I'm gonna start with uh, creating a mood board and collecting some references I already have a board on Pinterest with a lot of relevant references I would say they are all very very different like I can't implement all of these in just one poster so I'm quite an indecisive person but I need to decide which route to take like can be different stuff what I can do um, I can go with serif, sans serif, like different types of layout I can go with uh, hand-drawn typography I don't know I need to choose only those pins that are the most relevant I think that I actually want to uh, use as references for this poster so I'm gonna create a separate mood board like just for this just to a little bit narrow down my choice okay so this is more or less what I want to go with I want to go with uh, like high contrast in terms of typography as you can probably tell I'd like to go with really heavy extra bold sans serif font narrow condensed font like here it goes really well with the vibe of his music I didn't want to use any sophisticated and even just serif fonts because I don't think it aligns with his style speaks a lot about social issues about working class I think the font should be the most simple clear like really bold and loud and maybe maybe also I will try to incorporate some hand-drawn typography like to add a little bit of roughness to it just not to make it look like too polished in terms of the layout I will try to by the way <laughs> I haven't told you what exactly I'm gonna design I'm gonna design a tour poster I just found one of his posters from the last year 2022 across the UK and I just took all the info from that poster and yeah in terms of color scheme uh, I think most likely it's gonna be black and white to use this kind of dirty beige color instead of white so that it will also look more like old more authentic it must look natural more like analog so I start with creating a new document command N uh, 45 to 60 centimeters 200 dpi as usual disclaimer 200 dpi not the best resolution if you're gonna print and the text that I'm gonna use I collected it in my word document just not to type it all from scratch so I'm gonna quickly duplicate all of this text here it looks already nice to be honest this Noya Cabell black the goal is not to make it look like playful or cheerful because this is not the vibes of this album it's more political and loud and like very frustrated it should be loud but not too aggressive if you know what I mean and I will just quickly insert all this text I put all the info that I need. It's time to finally start designing. Making the background black because that's what I originally wanted. Yeah and it already looks a lot darker and it just sets the tone and I kind of like this this red color. I will change it later but for now I will just keep it with some fender. I will probably 
change the color to this uh, off-white slash beige it's already highlighted a lot like you can notice it from afar i would like to try making the title like really really big and bold something like impact but not impact it's hard to pull it off but make your design look like a really cheap design from a meme page okay this one seems promising i'm just thinking maybe i should insert the image this is the image that i decided to use i really like the background which is kind of like very subtle gradient uh, from the center to towards the sides and yeah and you can make it really contrasty i just found a really cool font which i didn't even know that i have acumen variable concept and they have narrow like condensed versions they have regular and lots of different weights that's good to know like i've just discovered something i i didn't know about this font and it seems like it can work i don't know maybe it's a bit too simple maybe not it also looks very modern but that's just because i haven't applied any any effects any magic to it it looks very modern which is something that i want to avoid to be honest it's not that i'm against modern but i don't know it's just not my style i guess let's do more compact okay 17 going under i want to try something hand-drawn like i said in the beginning like the combination of hand-drawn typography and something like really brutal and like geometric i, I really like these two they are very geomet geometric and uh, the one i'm using is not that much but we can try i don't know maybe i can try to stretch it it's not it's not gonna make it geometric by the way but uh, i just want to try stretch it and i like it to be honest it's not professional <laughs> But I don't know. I'm a bit tired of these disclaimers. I can do whatever I want, I guess. Yeah, I really like just the fact that it's so bold and like loud. It's kind of what I what I was going for initially, and and still the goal stands the same. Yeah, I'm not, let's try central alignment. Sam Fender. It's not too bad. Yeah, it's better against black background. We can do it like this sort of rectangles like a frame and this black background seems like there's not enough space for actual photo of sam so now i've got an idea i would try a different font here because i'm thinking about something a bit more narrow i still haven't found the right layout try different things yeah i definitely need that black background underneath the title to make it more sharp and legible now it looks more like a book cover, not necessarily like a poster. I don't know. Now I feel like there's not enough space for everything. <laughs> also, what I would like to try, as I said, I wanted to try hand-drawn typography. If I try it for the main title, it doesn't look bad. But the thing is, if that's a poster, I would prefer it to be legible. So yeah, I'll probably go back to the one that I had. Or like this one, much more condensed. I prefer this font. Hand-drawn font didn't work for the title, for Sam Panda. But I still want to implement it. And I'd like to add it like a little nuance, maybe for Tor 2022. To do it in two, two lines. Adjust the leading. Have you already learned all this? Terminology words just to flex that you're a graphic designer and you know also i would try to change the color to this red i would prefer to make red anything else but not the main title i'm not necessarily happy with 2022 because there are three times the number two which is why you can tell that it's not hand-drawn because the numbers are exactly the same and i would like to make a 
a bit more hand-drawn feel to it so I would adjust it a little bit but I'm gonna do it later because I prefer to decide on the entire layout and later on to deal with these small details but that's kind of my approach and now I need to decide what's gonna be more important the name or the artist or the image because I need to set the hierarchy because now it feels like they're competing they are about the same size I need to also another really important thing I need to organize um, all the dates and to make them more like aligned okay let's try using these uh, guidelines I think that's how it that's what it's called or guides or oh, actually there is another way to do it yeah I just can click align left edges and it does that for me and the same thing I can do with vertical alignment just to make sure there is the same distance between the first line of each of these text blocks just one click and that's so simple like photoshop makes life really enjoyable and simple isn't that great yeah I wish I would get paid for it maybe in the future photoshop just hear me out i would love to advertise you someday if you need any advertisement i'm planning to do the same with the second column and the third column as you can tell and even without these tools i can just manually just place this text block somewhere and photoshop already tells me where i need to place it for it to be aligned with the other ones that's so convenient I don't know. That's genius. Okay, I think they are aligned now. The problem is the legibility of these left column and I need to do something about it. There are two ways to deal with it is to either place something underneath like a black source of background like a rectangle or something like that or to manipulate the image to make it more black and also I can change the color of the dates but only doing that is not gonna solve the problem. Well actually it's a lot more legible now but first of all I can just shift it but I don't like the way they're touching. No. I will make the name the main character the center of attention enough will increase it a lot and maybe i will decrease the image i think that would make more sense i'm gonna try to apply some filters to the image because as it's not really the main character anymore i think i can manipulate it much more than I wanted initially and I would like to apply these halftone pattern with lines and obviously I'd like to have much more much higher contrast so I'm gonna do it with curves I'm gonna adjust it the image is not our main priority that looks cool to be honest I mean this effect I like it I think there's something missing like a bit of a texture to it so I would probably still apply grain on top of it. It already knows everything I want. Perfect. There is still a problem in this area. Like I'm not necessarily happy with it. Like with the legibility and stuff. Well, the first way would be just to shift the first column a bit to the right. I think it's already better. And another way I created a new layer underneath the dates and I would just take a soft brush black color and I would do something like this it feels like it's working so the next thing what I'm gonna do I would like to change the font of the name of the album because I don't feel it has enough of contrast I would like to try something a bit more white possibly I would do it in two lines yeah it's definitely better but we've got a bit of a problem here as you can see not much space and yeah I would probably shift yeah seems pretty even so I would shift Sam founder's name to highlight the name of the album I will try to invert it to make it black on white rather than white on black so I will create fake piece of paper it's gonna be white I mean off-white because nothing is white here apart from Sam Fender but I'm gonna get back to it everything will be off-white 17 going under it has to be black 
and even smaller, yeah, to give it a little bit more roughness, I would change the angle and all the dates, I would still shift them a bit down to the bottom. What else do I need to do? Let me think. Okay, another small detail that I would like to fix. I would choose a soft brush black color and these little details, they annoy me a bit like this. These highlights, they just create a lot of clutter. Again, normally I don't mind clutter, but in this case, they are competing with little text, such as the date. I would prefer to get rid of them. Okay, 17, and under a uh, new album. I would probably place it on top, and this is on the bottom. And I would like to make it in one line, and I will just justify it to the length of the frame style of alignment I would use justify all yeah also just to create a, a little bit of separation I would like to make either a line here or like a frame let's try a frame feel is zero percent because I only need a frame stroke let's do this of white color yeah it definitely creates this separation but draws too much attention to itself i i don't like that it's too close to the dates probably align the distance between dates but photoshop is going to help me with this copy the same frame for the top and also these frames are a bit too bright i would make them maybe maybe i should make them red and they wouldn't stand out that much Okay, yeah, now and the new album. I would prefer to do it in one line. I would increase the size. Yeah, I think this frame has its place, but maybe I would make it a bit further from the edges. And I would like to make it more like rough. Okay, I guess the last thing I need to correct here is 2022. I would like to make it a bit more hand drawn style rather than now, because now you can clearly tell like they are exactly the same these numbers too yeah first of all i would uh, change the angle a little bit just to bring more dynamic and i'm gonna rasterize the layer and just to manipulate the numbers a little bit like not to place them exactly on the same line first of all angles as well also liquify is a really good tool for it you can slightly change the shape or not slightly depends on you depends on what you want really it has to look natural that will do it also i would like to create like a little scribble not soft brush just with normal brush Yeah, just by hand, something like that. Okay. Yeah, I tried to put it on top of Sam, but it doesn't seem to work. So I will just leave it like that. Sam Fanda, I need to make it off-white as well. Then Photoshop can already tell what I'm gonna do. Perfect okay and now i think we're pretty much done but the last finishing step would be to make the edges of fonts rough and i've got an amazing plugin for this which is called one click grunge i'm gonna go with medium or large i don't know let's try large play and the color it automatically turns into black okay yeah i think this is much more prominent effect yeah but from afar it's still not like really noticeable it is slightly noticeable which is exactly the effect that i wanted and now i'm gonna apply it to uh, the name of the album this text and probably to the frames as well as you can see i applied this effect to to all the texts apart from the dates because i want to keep them clear and they are too small and to the frames 
you see how grungy they look now yeah and just the finishing touch i'm gonna apply the texture something like that but now it looks very low contrast and really hard to read everything red so i would decrease the opacity so now i think it's much easier because the, the main thing is to keep the legibility for tour 2022 that's quite important the last step i would create a solid color new layer and i would just change the black color to something else blue and obviously we need to change the layer mode to lighten or screen i like lighten to be honest yeah when you want to make poster a bit more analog and like old kind of style it's always a good idea not to use the exactly like pure black color you want to make it a little bit lighter and possibly to give a little bit of a color yeah i think this this thing will work okay and i think i'm done for now i'm gonna place it on a mock-up and it will look something like this like i didn't take too much time to make it look very very natural i could add a little bit of wrinkles to it but just to give you guys the idea what it would look like street art sort of scene just wanted to have some very cluttery environment so this is pretty much the result So yeah, that was my full process of designing a music poster. I will try to do more of these in the future. I've been really inspired and I've already got a few ideas of what I want to design next. Let me guys know your thoughts on this. Like, would you use such post if you were a musician? If you have any requests, leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye.